All right, so I've gotten a few questions from you guys about my code replacements, uh, how I make them, why I make them, and just how I implement them. So I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial today. Um, I'm heading out to a Red Sox game, so I gotta make another code replacement. So I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I made an Excel doc um, that I can put in the rosters and it'll actually auto-complete the code replacements that I'll end up using. Now this is from a couple weeks ago, so I'll re-enter the Red Sox, even though they probably have not changed very much. So I'll just Google <coughs> Red Sox roster 2020. I typically like to use the CBS Sports one, mainly because on ESPN or the Red Sox, they actually have photos next to the players. So when you try and copy and paste this stuff, those photos sort of get in the way and make it harder and more time consuming to do. Okay, so if we go in here, we copy that from CBS, paste special values only, and then we have all of those players there that are should be on the roster right now. Okay, so after you put that in, you can see here the position in C, and that's relief pitcher, relief pitcher, starting pitcher, right? Okay, now I wrote a little thing here in Excel you can see that if it says RP in column C, it'll auto correct this to relief pitcher and it adds a little space in there. Um, same thing I do for the number. So you can see it just changes the number from 32, adds the brackets and it adds a space in front of it. And then also the name to add a space to the name. So it's Matt Barnes, now it's just a space with Matt Barnes. And then in this section here in P, it puts together K, L2, Q2, and then M2. So then if I wanna do code replacement, I can do, if I put in the code B32, then it'll come out Boston Red Sox relief pitcher, Matt Barnes, 32. So I can only type five keystrokes to get that sentence out, which is why code replacement is very helpful when you're captioning images, you can do it a lot more quickly. So I already made that stuff before this, so that way I can use this for baseball. I have a football code replacement, I have a basketball code replacement because the positions are different, so I can get those different outputs for positions. Now the coaches haven't changed, so I already had the managers and pitching coach, first base coach, third base coach. All right, I have those guys in here already. What I like to do as well, is highlight all of these and sort them, sort range by column A. Okay, so then I get that in order of number, which means it's easier for me to check against the, so I'll go through here and delete these ones that were just sort of those extra, looks like I have two Alex Verdugos, delete that. All right, so now I can Highlight all these, go over here. All right, this is from last night, but the, they probably won't change that much, so I can check against that to make sure that I have all the correct players. So if I open my recent Red Sox code replacement, go in here, paste it in, replace it. Okay, the managers and coaches are the same. Now you can see the last game I did was the Mets, so now I have to do the Blue Jays. So come over here. Switch from the Red Sox to Toronto Blue Jays. And then just do the same thing. Select all, copy, and then come down here to the visiting team and paste special, values only. Because I use CBS Sports a lot, I made column C the positions, so I know when I paste it in there, that's where the positions are gonna be. Same with the numbers and the names. So if you're gonna use a different one, you're gonna to have to set up your Excel doc in a different way. But it's not that hard to do. You can copy and paste from one to the other. So I gotta change this to Toronto Blue Jays. And I always like to just double check to make sure I'm spelling everything correctly. All right, and then drag this all the way down. Toronto Blue Jays. All right. And then we'll drag this down to make sure we get everybody. Same with the numbers. 
and then we'll switch the team code to T for Toronto and you can see it's going to change the numbers the code over here to the T and then the number and it's already filled in what I need here. I like to do that for all of them just to make sure that I'm not missing anyone. All right, and then we will select all this and sort by column A, and then there we have it sorted by number. We go down. Okay, now we have all the Toronto players. So do this over the Mets. Paste. Perfect. Save it. Right now, I need the Toronto Blue Jays coaching staff. And... So now I have the coaches here. Drag down. Now I'll switch this to just TM for manager. TPC, pitching coach. T1B, first base coach. T3B, third base coach. And THC, hitting coach. So I can take them, copy, paste it into the code replacement. All right, so now, because the Blue Jays are playing, not the Mets, I can switch this. Blue Jays, so I have during the first inning through the 11th, just in case she goes into extra innings, I can say that during the first inning. And then again, it delivers a pitch, hits a home run, hits an RBI. All right now, I'm gonna check the starting pitcher. So that's Toronto starting pitcher. So let's see who the starting pitchers are today. Today we have, ooh, Ovaldi, yes, all right. Hopefully he pitches well. Game could go quicker. All right, so Ovaldi. So we'll find him, Nathan. There we go. Copy paste it down here. So I do this because I know the starting pitcher is gonna throw right during the first inning against the Blue Jays. So I have to copy the Blue Jays over here. So all I have to do is click five keystrokes and I get that entire sentence. So now let's do Toronto, Matt Shoemaker. All right, so that's because I'm always gonna take shots of the starting pitchers in the first inning. So I know I'm gonna use this code replacement. So I pre-put that whole thing in there and it just saves me a little bit more time in the first inning. In the second inning, I can even do the same thing and just replace first with second inning if I need to. Save that and then I have the umpires so I'll have to wait to get this lineup sheet from today um, and when I do I'll check see down here how it has all the numbers listed of all the players who are gonna potentially be in the game or even on the injured list so I can double check my code replacement and that's again why I sort by number so I can see all right T1 got it two right and just go down the line make sure I have everybody that way I don't have to google Toronto number 34 is I can look it up here. I have make sure I have it correct And then the umpires are also on here And they'll switch where they are tonight. So I'll wait until I get to the game To double check all this that this is working. So I save this I go over to photo mechanic All right, and then I go to edit Settings I can reload but if you go to set code replacements, so I have it in here already USA Today sends me uh, metadata that they want, so if I do Command Shift I, it'll add that template to all these. And so see, it overwrote that stuff. So essentially, all I'm doing is putting in my little code replacements. B2 looks on before game against the Toronto Blue Jays, and then done. So it goes a lot quicker than me having to type out the entire thing, especially because I'm terrible at spelling and. I make a lot of mistakes when I type, and I type pretty slowly. So if this is the starting pitcher, today it's Evaldi, that's not Evaldi, that's done. So I just did five keystrokes, that, that one's done, I move on to the next one. And you can see you can just go through and add those during the 10th inning, 
whatever you want to do, it's already there. So I find those phrases that I use a lot and I put those in the code replacement just to save me some time because I'm doing all of this during the game, in between innings or when things aren't really happening. Okay, so I hope that helps. You can see sort of how I put the code replacement together, how I use it, and the things I'm thinking about to save me time. All right, so if you have any questions, please let me know and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. And if you want access to this code replacement, um, just message me, I'll see how I can send it to you. All right, see you next time.